Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3 on the Mysterious JG. Last time we went from like shot for shot, fist for fist with Ash to playing video games with James, which did not involve sporing, boring drinks, although I suppose we got loud. <laughs> Excuse me. And then it was time for like a memorial service, which was not all that much uh, bubbly, frothy fun. But we're back now to inviting people to hang out at our apartment with us as Earth burns at the touch of the wretched reapers. We can invite up all these fun folks. I don't think we've got new private messages. So yeah, we gotta invite up some fun folks. Or we could actually... No, that's not what I meant to do. Well, we can't check the map here. We'd have to go outside. But I think uh, if we were to go outside, we would have the ability to interact with Grunt at least. Um... Yeah, let's get Trainer up here. Edie and Liara will, will have their turns. This is probably where you get a serious romantic interlude with Trainer if you're, uh, sure you, you want know, to leave that here? her lover is well Femmeship. No well, you could shove it up your well, never This mind. place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on horizon to shame. Ooh. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, this would definitely be your sexy, sexy time sequence if you were femship and had oh, gone this route. This is lovely, and good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Seriously. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats, and public speaking. Ooh. Same. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. Take and your proton pill asthma. and put your helmet on. Uh, listen, I'm gonna hop in there now, and, uh, please don't be offended if I, uh, you know, seem excited. Do you have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? You get a... That's a sugar pill trainer. Did you get Placebo. like nosebleeds oh, from sneaky bastard? And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. I thought she was like a genius. How did he know that and she not know that? Bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah, I'd like to grab you. Here you but, go. Nah, whatever. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment. Remember? I highly doubt he has a. Found one. Somebody Aye. left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Uh. So, seriously, you have her over, she just gets in your hot tub, makes you pass her stuff, and doesn't let you look I mean not like it would be it would be totally cool if she just like all right you can ogle me as long as uh you pass me this you know whatever I don't know that felt a bit contrived to me but yeah probably that was like a very very different scene if you were playing as Fem Shep and had uh, pursued a different approach with her than uh, polite chit chat to get Edie up here first with her um Photon torpedoes, as they are, yeah. Because, yes, Shepard's apartment is a magical place where the game focuses on breasts instead of butts for a Shepherd, change. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping. Shopping? I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Do you think we could find the level the 4 uh, upgrades that I couldn't find? The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Yeah, but Jack still, going there is... ...on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Well, if you'd like to hop but in the, uh... You don't have money of your own. Or, uh... I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. Well, it depends on we'll get what you resume your is for. But today, what's first? Can I, I work on your criminal empire curriculum, Vitae? I got him a gift. What would you recommend? He's not going to be that surprised if he gave you a credit shit and ordered you to have... Well, I suppose he ordered her to have fun like a girly girl. Something you would both like, something practical. How about Shepard just doesn't care? 
start with something both of you can enjoy. I think I'm projecting my own do feelings do onto Shepard. We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. That's a pretty expensive gift, Here, I would assume. The 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. It's really expensive. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. So you can you just let her do that without I interrupting? See. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. <laughs> Open your mouth and close your eyes, and Edie will give you a big surprise. A wedding ring? <laughs> Engagement um, ring. Are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Uh -huh. Each metal compounds with the last, making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Is this you macking on her at this point? Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you macking on me? I don't even... Valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I For have heard change. expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. Uh -huh. She wildly vacillates from joke. getting humans to... Okay, Did I have joke. you for a few seconds there? Not yeah, even close. She had me, though. Who's next? I'm dumber I'm than Shepard. Maybe some clothes that go good with being a smurf because that's what she is damn dirty smurf all right i just had this oh god i i'm extending this l this um sending this out even more but i just had the thought of what if we let her buy a sports car for joker pow pow power wheel pow pow power wheel which i think in theory that's what's happening if you don't do the paragon interrupt but I don't know, I feel like probably something... Somehow she will still not buy the sports car for Joker. So, we'll have to load after this, because I don't want to do the trainer one over. It doesn't... I can't imagine these affect anything. It's, it's, Mass Effect 4 is going to be a whole new... Char Jeff, set of characters, I think. So you, you just, we don't have to worry yeah, about that anymore. But we'll get you your own fun sometime. What if Trainer Jeff appears a character in Mass Effect 4 and she can't do what she needs to do what unless you, you? Well, I suppose we could go with something practical as best. But I, I don't fuck it. I don't see what happens if she buys a start sports with car. something both. We interact here. The twenty one eighty seven black. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. I'm now staring off in another direction for some reason. Replacement parts. All sales are final. Did you just do what I think you did? I acquired Jeff a vehicle through monetary transaction. And Joker can afford it? Hmm. Shepard, I am in need of advice about human behavior. What do you know about bank robbery? I'll call Is it anything like Shepard? this up. That sounds better than my solution. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Okay. Okay, so zaniness no. ensued, but Each it ultimately went the same way. Making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Yeah, That's yeah. thoughtful, Edie. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewelry with the uniform. Well, then wear it under your clothes on somehow. Their identification tags. You know. I can do that. Make it a uh, one condition. Paul Bear talking cock I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't fully represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. I'll take that to heart. Dreams stay with Thanks. you. <laughs> Sorry, I, I lost the, the song that I wanted to start singing there. Dreams stay with you. Something so like a lover's voice on the mountaintops. I can't remember the words.
Dreams stay with you, blah, 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 like a lover's voice on the mountainside. Okay, I can't remember the song. Forget it, forget it. Will to LP fading as cutesy scenes continue forever. So, Liara, Edie and I bought you a gift, and that gift is having not downplayed your importance as much as possible throughout the series. <laughs> what up, ship? With one hand, huh? She's pretty good. Well, th okay, Greetings, this part. Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you. You son of a bitch! Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. Could you? Why this song? It's so terrible. Is there something special about this song? I just told you it's only what I know. <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. Mm -hmm. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She had a wall of keyboards. She taught me to play this song while we waited. Hmm. Well, anyway, you gotta get out of here. I have to invite Garrus up and... Uh, it's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. For making us laugh about love again. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. I trapped her in the friend Sometimes zone. <laughs> she never got anywhere with me, Shepard. There are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. You mean like Glyph? What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. Glad to help. I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. You're good. Well, Real good. I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Yes. Go. Not one of our options. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? It's called the Blue Tentacle Head. <laughs> it's our national anthem. <laughs> it's our Cesar national anthem. Shepard has fallen asleep on his feet here, as you can plainly see. Just look at the tails of the head there. He he fell asleep. All right. Uh, gone with the show. This is it. Oh, hey, we are still chillaxing. Maybe we can do a push-up challenge or a pull-up challenge. This place is nice. Yes, thank you, Glyph. Hey, I didn't say you do that. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? No. Shepard. Shepard. Hey, it's the piano version of the vigil theme. Which always makes me think of different faces of Mass Effect 1 uh, squad mates fading in and out on a uh, space backdrop. That's interesting. Is there something else I can interact with now while she's here? Hey, Leora, want to watch me do pull-ups? I can do a whole bunch. There's no penalty for just smashing both buttons. You know, you really have to know which one uh, is the correct one. So I would imagine she is automatically Shepherd. booted out if you decide to summon someone else, but just... Excuse, sorry, just in case, let's, uh... 
see the stereo control. We can shut Glyph down. I love that song. All right, well, let me order your assistant to stop playing it and play something else instead, because, you know, that's just the kind of thing. <laughs> needlessly douchey thing I like to do. Invite people over, ask them what song they like, and then pointedly not play it. Well, Liara, stay as long as you like. You're always welcome. I'm going to go uh, bail Grunt out of prison. And check and see if that gives me more messages. And uh, if not, I guess we're actually going to... Beer Town? Oh. <laughs> Beer Town. It's Tiberius Towers, I think. Oh, it's is this is it really Tiberius Towers? Is there a place from which I can see the first letter on that sign? Because I think uh, it is, in fact, Tiberius Towers. So that would be, I'm guessing, a um, Star Trek reference. So there you go. You'd have to assume that uh, a decent, not not every single one necessarily, but a decent chunk of the people behind uh, the creative and uh, the you know the writing of the story universe, character, building, whatever, of Mass Effect, you'd have to think that some of them are tricky. Probably more than a few Doctor Who fans amongst them as well. I'm just saying, it's, it's likely. C-Sec officer. Okay, thankfully they're not going to make me go too, too far to, to get this thing rolling. Because I kind of don't want to spend the uh, whole video wandering around the strip looking for the next person I'm supposed to interact with. Of course, he may be up on the top level, too. Actually... Uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, no. Is this... Oh, never mind. I can still get back out of the balcony from here. Yeah, I'm starting to suspect that the CSEC officer is lurking on that section of balcony that is, like, appears completely self-contained. It can only be reached by actually going into one of these, uh, businesses. Of course, if I'm wrong about that, I came up here for no reason. It is starting to appear like I was wrong about that. Let's check the map. I went too far. I'll have to deal with the dang, uh, yeah, chicken dinner winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, I guess I should have been paying more attention, because he was actually, I actually went too far. Yeah, all right. Hey, what up, officer? Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. Commander, have you ever thought about trying to help the Krogan? I mean, beyond curing their genophage, which you've already done. So, Brent, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Well, that's good. It's nice Commander to know that you're going to call me every time you get in trouble. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. You probably want to find out what he did first, Shepard. I know you're like a jaw jook and all, but I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Have you recovered from your drinking? But you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragnar encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most heal boy, people heal. aren't me. Why is Csec here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Crunt. Have you been walking on, walking on, walking on, broken glass? Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? At the Grand Line. Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospitals seen better days, though. So when I go there, am I actually going to see any right. effect of what you're talking Tell about at about all? The windows. A couple of squad mates well, broke windows me out for my first day. Tried lowering me down the side of the building on I a rope. I we got all the squad mates it killed. It didn't work out. Zany. It's your birthday? 
It's your birthday. No, it's your birthday. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? No, yeah. the other one. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Uh -huh. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. The bonfire of the inanity. So who? Guys I'm jumped trying out. out for Cracked Magazine. And I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Mm -hmm. Sprayed us down with riot foam. It <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? I ate it. Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Yeah, right. seriously, Shepard. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Fabricate story. I'm really curious what the Fabricate story thing is, but you know what? <sighs> the power of upper right hand dialogue compels me. Run. You apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. Like you mean it. And I won't do it again. Good. Because that now, card's already officer, been destroyed. I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. Um, how? That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. Putting him back in his tank. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, friend. <laughs> I thought I'd seen this before on the YouTubes, at least the end. I thought he said, I love you, Grunt. I guess maybe that's if you fabricate a story. Eh, whatever. Didn't really have a whole lot of choice in how that dialogue went, but, yeah, that was fun. Like I said, I, that one I'd actually, like, had seen on YouTube, so I wasn't all that shocked by it, but it's a cute little joke. Not, you know, once... You, you, I mean, once the, the general concept of the joke... Grunt got in some wackies, any trouble. Once that's established, um, you kind of know where it's going. But yeah, it was nice. Yeah, whatever. Man, I wonder if I'm actually in this play session going to get to the point where I can throw the party. And, um... Nope, because that new message is going to be somebody else. Either wanting to interact with me out on the silver whatever strip, or... Yeah, looks like they are gone, yep. Or, um, possibly wanting me to invite them up here for a cutesy little sequence. We can probably get one more of those done. I might have several. Jeez, four. From Jack. Hey, had fun kicking some holographic ass with you. Good to see you haven't lost it without me around. Got a bit more leave. Let me know if you want me to... If you're around and want to kill some time. Well, Shepard overheard your... You had another news report about you today. I thought I'd write to see how you're doing. Carl at Citadel. <sighs> she won't join us. But she will... Whatever. Bi Biotaball Goodwill Games. Seattle Sorcerers are taking on the Gasara Maestros in Biotaball. Should be epic. James, you recently acquired an apartment with the sweet vid screen. Coincidence? James and I don't think so. Okay, so basically they are going to come watch Space Football. And Miranda, pencil me in here for night out. Let's get dressed up and meet in the casino. I'll be the one in red. Okay, so this will be a, a little fan service. See you guys with Miranda. I've heard of, you know, worse ideas. Uh, ju you know, I I know I'm I'm gonna make this uh, DLC last forever if I keep doing this. But I just want to quick zoom through and see what happens if you fabricate story. Don't care enough about Edie's the whole dialogue to see what happens if you suggest a practical gift. Kind of vaguely care enough to quick check and see what happens if you fabricate a story to, be, to try to save Grunt. I don't see what the hell story you're going to fabricate or what difference it's going to make, but... So we'll do this and then we'll call the video. And next time we'll be like... 
you know, hanging out with her buddies, watching space football, checking out, like, Miranda being slutted up in a different way from usual. And I don't even remember what the other one was. Yeah, Jack wants to hang out. Okay, it's cool. It's all good. It's all good, babe. I've made it clear that uh, if this stuff's boring you to tears and you are waiting for the the wrap-up of the story, that you're going to want to rejoin me after I've finished labeling videos part of the Citadel DLC. Officer. I don't understand why we get these loading screens for each of these. But we do. That is club. Commander Shepard, it's okay. I guess Krogans are supposed to like Listen. noodles because there was a little I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. I understand you're getting out of there. God loud hospital things. Yeah, full of sick people. Right. The weak. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates. Yeah, it didn't work out. It's your Doesn't look no. like I get to skip the, the zany animated sequences. Yeah. See, these other Krogan are always wearing their helmets like so that they don't even have to draw Reno. faces. And I thought his squad mates got killed! I thought we were responsible for that. We didn't get very sprayed us down with And why is that? Because those on fire. Come on, Shepard, mess. keep right. Sorry. Got hungry, bought some noodles. Got loud. Spilled some drinks on Citadel. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. Good luck. You won't. Thank you. So that changed like nothing. So... A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. So that's the big... Okay, so if you're a Paragon, you're my hero, Grunt. If you're a Renegade, I love you, Grunt. And that makes sense to me, because truly, what could be more Renegade? What could be a stronger defiance of society's norms than a man loving a Krogan? When a man loves a Krogan... Okay, let's, uh, let's stop there. Uh... Not stopping while I'm ahead, stopping before I get further behind. Alright, then I'm calling it a video. When we come back, uh, more of this kind of junk. I'm Serious GG, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.